9.37 now. And now, live on the telephone from his lovely home is Tim Henberg. Yeah. Hello, morning. Hello. Morning, Tim. Morning, Tim. Morning. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? I'm very good. What a life you live. What an amazing <laughs> life. Only yesterday we were talking about your life, Tim Hemden. Were you? What are mm. you saying? We're saying that, uh, you know... I'm two, lazy. Two weeks a year of work, yeah. that's it. Mm. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it's not bad, I must admit. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. I've got three days to go and then... Uh, I got a few weeks off, so uh, yeah, I can't complain. Well, listen, you know we don't want to we don't want to hold you up. We know you you want to get all your work out of the way, and then you can go <laughs> back to <laughs> to, to, to you know eleven and a half months of golf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling a bit guilty now. I should do something else, but nah. give me yeah, give me a little while, then I'll do something Come a bit on, more constructive. Tim. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Come on, Tim. Yeah, all right, all right, guys. Sorry, I can't help. Seven. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Quiet, please. Okay. Seven. All right. No, that's right. Len Goodman. Oh, sorry. Um. So. Murray, Andy Roddick, today, what's your, yeah. what's your feeling? Um, I mean, you look at this sort of head-to-head, what is it? It's 6-2 to Murray, and I just like the way that his game... You know, they talk about how the, the sort of tactics, the matchup of how each player plays, and, and, and I just think Murray's... I think he's got the answers. I mean, Roddick's got a brilliant serve, and, and, and Murray has to sort of get as many of those back as he can, but once he gets into these sort of baseline rallies... Um, you know, I think there's, I think there's only one winner. So um, I'm, I'm pretty confident that Murray's going to do the business today. Yeah. By the way, mm. uh, a nice little promotion there from Tim. Uh, they're in the live lounge this afternoon. By Who's the way. that? Sorry. Baseline rallies. Baseline yeah, rallies. One of, yeah. yeah. One of my favourite bands, yeah. the Baseline Rallies. I think. There really you go. <laughs> um, uh, see now, do you, when you, you're obviously you're not playing now. You're not there. You're watching from the other side. Do you sit there and go? Mm. I want to be out there again. <laughs> no, no, not really. I mean, it's, when I look at, you know, I've been on Centre Court a few times this, uh, the last week or so, last fortnight, and uh, I mean, it's the best place, best place in the world to play, and I, and I had loads of, you know, some uh, great experience. I had a few, few disappointments, but um, I thought then I'm able to appreciate everything that goes into putting yourself in that position. It's mm. all the practice and training and all the tournaments and travel and and uh, I just don't miss it at all and, and I think that's all sort of reflected why I've only I've only really played once in about eighteen months and, and don't really have any don't really have any desire to play anymore. But uh, no, it's a great place. I mean it's the best tournament in the world and we're lucky lucky to have it in this country. Mm. You know, weirdly you're such a good ambassador for the sport, mm. despite the fact that it sounds like to the untrained ear that you can't bear it and you've had enough of it and all you want to do is play golf. But it's, but it's you know, I, I, I you know, appreciate your honesty. When it's a job, it's a job, but you can well, probably now really- enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it was—I'd say it was—it was more my—it was more my hobby than a job. But then, my last couple of years, I felt like this might become a job fairly soon. And if it becomes a job, I don't want to do it. So I think I sort of stopped at the right time. And and uh, and then you look—I mean, I haven't stopped that long ago. It was only about it's nearly two years ago. And the games. The game's changed, you know, even in that time, and I was I was struggling as it was towards the end of my career. So don't think I'd stand much chance now. Oh no! Yeah, you're probably right. Mm. Um, <laughs> go on, Tim. Stop it. Sorry, Tim. The big quiet, please. The big question for everyone is to do with the hill. Uh, some yeah. people are talking about changing the name to Murray Mound. Will you fight all these people off and keep it as Henman Hill? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's got to be. It's got to yeah. remain as Henman Hill, surely. Yeah. I mean, even I've had this conversation with Andy Murray, and uh, I did an interview with him. I think it was last year, and even he was good enough to to say, you know, it was it always was Henman Hill and, and you can keep it. I mean, I haven't got much else to hang on to, so at least you can... Yeah. You know, the hill. hill. Hang I've, on I've, to the heard, hill. I've heard rumours that they're going to name it to uh, Chris's Clump after me. I don't know if, <laughs> if you've heard that. <laughs> keep the hill! All right, so seriously, <laughs> quiet please. Um, listen, Tim, have a lovely day. I know, you know, we're probably holding you up from, you know, sitting in your garden drinking Pims or whatever you're doing with your days these days. Um, but are you there today? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. I'll be doing. Uh, I'll be doing a bit of the commentary and and uh, yeah, cheering them on. So yeah, fingers crossed. Well, we don't have to worry about the weather anymore, do we? So That's true. It's mm. fine. It's, um, yeah, I mean, um, fingers crossed. They don't need the roof, but I think they might do. It doesn't look too good at the moment. No, it's Dominic. I predict showers for late afternoon, Tim. Mm. Sounds okay. good. That That's means five-ish. take your sun factor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, so, but no, it's very exciting. Good luck to Andy Murray. I mean, I'm not the biggest tennis fan, but like the game the other night, you couldn't help but get involved in it. Apart from anything else, it was on every blooming channel, and there was no EastEnders. Mm. But uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed it, and I, you know, I hope you did yeah, some business brilliant. today. And it could be, 
uh, a Murray Federer final. Yeah, that's what I think everyone wants to see. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed they can both both come through, and then we can watch that on. Uh on Sunday. Yeah. Um, two more questions for you. Number one, um, did you hear our brilliant interview with Peter Andre? Uh, I just heard you, yeah, talking about the off the air bit. Off mm. the off air bit. Oh, thanks for listening. Cheers. It was brilliant. Uh, you missed it. You should listen again. God, I was good. <laughs> and Will do. and uh, the second one is uh, my girlfriend Sophie wants to know: is, is there any chance of any tickets? Yeah, absolutely. I can. When she want to come today or Sunday? When you want to go? Saturday for that today moment. or Saturday or Sunday? What? Today. Today. Yeah. She wants to go today. That. I'm sure I'll, I'll speak to the BBC. They've got okay. a few stacks to wear, haven't they? Brilliant. Oh, it's better than Ticketmaster. Yeah. Ticket master. Isn't this good? This is brilliant. <laughs> and anybody else, text in now, 8 double double 9 and start your message with, can I have some tickets, Tim? Yeah, yeah. Tim gets tickets for everyone. Yeah. There you go. Hey! <laughs> and then we'll get, he's taking us all out for uh, drinks afterwards. Yeah. Tim's the new king of tickets. Yeah. Have a great day. Thanks, thanks for coming to us, man. Come and see all us right. one day as well. All right? Yeah, I will do. Thanks very much. Cheers, Tim. Bye. 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 There you go. Do you like that? There you yeah, are. Yes, we that do. Brilliant. Jag your skills in the mix. Uh, nice one. Love it. Right. Send a text to A Number Nine. Start with the name of the team member and then your comment. Oh, you can see it on the visual console or on your mobile. There you go. Yeah. Heard that right. Thank mm. you. It's time for the uh, golden 15 minutes. Uh, songs chosen by the team. Let's just knock them out. If you're here when you like, text in and just tell us how much you like it, right? Start with the name of the person, though. Yeah. The first choice is Dave's, okay? First choice, Dave. Then it's Rachel. So, start your text with Dave. If you love the song, he's chosen. It's for everyone who's going tonight. The Chris Moyle Show. The Golden Hour. Are you going this evening? You will love it. International Radio 1. I ain't talking about Take That. 1FM. The Golden Hour.